Now, a lot of you have been asking me, how can I come to Israel after my last video that I made about staying and working in Israel? Now, I'm here with five tips on what you need to know before you plan your visit to Israel. If you don't mind, let's check it out. Now, visiting a new place is definitely an exciting thing, especially when there is a lot of planning involved. And Israel is a great place to visit. I'm telling you, there are so many religious spots and historical spots to visit. And apart from all these historical and religious linkages, there are many other wonderful things. However, when you're visiting a new place, there are things that you need to keep in mind. That visiting a new country will certainly be exciting, but some places have some certain rules and need to be followed. Now, a new place can be scary because people will be talking in their local languages and apart from this, in fact, in Israel, they speak Hebrew and a bit of Arabic. So, if you don't know any of these, it can be difficult for you to communicate, but it's always good for you to prepare and be prepared before. If you're looking for the best Israel travel tips, then look no further. And the Barija Farm has got you. I have composed for you this video of five important things you need to know before you come to Israel. Don't go away. Keep watching and let's dive right into it. Number one. Be prepared to be strictly interviewed at the airport. Now, Israel's security is so much tight and they will entertain no nonsense about someone entering into their country. Actually, they have a saying that when you are outside Israel, you're not safe. But you're, if you're in Israel, you are safe. So, be ready to be interviewed, especially if it is your first time in the country. Be ready to be asked, what is the purpose of your visit? Whom are you going to visit? How are you related? How long are you going to be in the country? So, you do not need to be scared. Actually, you need to be open-minded to answer these questions straightforward. Don't first stop and think a lot to answer that question because that might cause doubt whether you are coming for that visit you are talking about. Be open-minded and answer exactly what they ask you. Don't go into a lot of stories because that might even cause your denial to enter. So, be straightforward and answer what is exactly asked to you. Point number two that you shouldn't forget. Be aware of Shabbat time. Now, in Israel, Shabbat hours begin on Friday at exactly 4 p.m. up to Saturday 5 p.m. So be ready at that time when Shabbat hours have reached there's no business going on there are no public transport going on just the normal taxis are the ones operating but there is no serious business and the Lord roads can be really car free so if you're coming for the visit and you're planning to come for the visit be aware that Shabbat time when it is Friday and Saturday there is no business going on 
so you might get stranded in case you land into the country on those days you might be stranded on where to take you especially if you have not organized with your hotel that it is having a pickup schedule for you so be ready and know the time you need to come and visit number three private transport is very expensive especially the taxis they're very expensive and so what i advise you to do is using most of these public shelutes when you're moving in israel you will notice the yellow vans yellow vans are the shelutes and they are so cheap so if you want to move around the city there is no need of you getting a taxi especially if you do not trust your pockets but if you trust your pocket it's okay you can use a taxi but if you know that you're not well in the pocket then i recommend you to use the share routes some most of the times you will find when maybe buses are not operating especially when it is sh uh, shabbat time but those yellow sheruts will be operating all over the country so it's best for you to use those sheruts they can move all over the country they can move you around to every place you want to go they have all the drop out the dropping points so you are able to drop at any particular point you want to drop number four don't be scared or afraid when you see the army moving or roaming around in the streets with their guns so if you're staying in israel it's normal to see army personnel with their machine guns moving around because Israel's security is number one and they don't give a damn for someone trying to breach in their security so everyone in Israel there is I think it is a culture but most of their youth from the age of 20 from the age of 21 and above join the military they have to first serve their country before they can continue for campus so they are all over the country you will meet men and women in uniform with their machine guns but they mean no harm because they are there to protect and guard their country so don't be afraid if you see them and you start panicking no just be at ease they're friendly number five and the last one you will need to find ways to cut on your expenses yeah as you know israel is a first world country and Tel Aviv being the most expensive city in the whole world don't think it's a smile and you get what you want no everything is cash so if you want to cut on your expenses this is how you can do it if your hotel is giving you breakfast enjoy that breakfast don't say you're going to go out and have breakfast from the restaurants and the hotels around because restaurants in israel are too damn expensive and so the way you can cut these expenses is going to the local markets and buy some food stuff because there some food is really on a good price and it can be good for your expense and remember don't use a lot of private taxis use the shelutes that one it is good for your pocket not to drain so fast 
because they are damn expensive. Now, thank you so much for staying with us and just know a lot more like this is dropping. My name is Robert and I'm out.